All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of New Delhi, India, and now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York, Iron. All right, Grinton rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground. They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got us to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the finish takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge of the striking to carry them to victory. Good punch land. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this guy. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And he caught the kick. And they separate. He blocks the shot. Flips the shot. Looks like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. Whiffs on the straight right hand. 
big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And he landed the right hand there. Huge block there. Gets the elbow up into the target. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Boy, Ty Plump. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Right hand punches the clinch. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the move. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, knee to the head, that never feels good. That's a big strike right there. What a tricky head kick. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Oh, man, don't be afraid to raise the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in waving his arms. Waving it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighter setting it up and then throwing that head kick over the top. Nice job setting it up. Good job landing. Great offense. Leg kick. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Beautiful body kick. Slips to avoid the right. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. All right, leading with the right hand. You don't see that every day. It was certainly effective for him there. If you're going to throw your power hand first, you got to be very aware not to count. Head kick lands. Oh, good kicks. Big kick. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Nice punch lands over the top. Five minutes in the books. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, round two is now upon okay, us. Pretty round, competitive round first round. five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Nice strike. 
Nice leg kick lands. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. And they separate. What a punch. Spinning back fist is there. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Big kick lands. Ooh, blocks the shot. It's time to look for that takedown now. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, that's a nice strike. Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, they made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Oh, a nice knee. Oh, straight right hand now just misses. Oh, big punch land. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big left hand there. And follows up with another one. Unable to connect there. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. Back to the jab now, no good. Real sneaky by the kick. A little single collar tie there. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. You're winning here. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking clip. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. 20 seconds to go. Nice knee to the midsection there. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his approach. All right, that's the end of round number two. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens. Very skilled, very easy match fighters 
coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it more. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. That one snuck in. Nice strike. And he comes through with a big knee. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the... Whoa! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Try to establish that jab. Single collar tie now. And he lands a punch there pretty oh. good. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. He is getting lit up right now, John. Big knee to the body. He changes the angle, finds the right spots to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Another big shot to the head. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. And the takedown attempt. But he does not land it. Nice leg kick. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Nice straight punch. Man. He's choked. He's oh. man. Back to the feet. It's a big knee. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot. He will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Straight right, he misses. Ooh, what a punch. Again, in the clinch. And both guys really throwing with authority. And they separate. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Good finish this fight. in the clinch to avoid a separation. Nice punch, man. Ten seconds to go in the round. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Beautiful leg kick throw. Right. All 
and let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. All right, next round is now underway. Previous right. round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good not for Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Good stick. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Wow. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting together. Wow. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially... Oh! Holy smokes! He got him! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 33 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.